Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. In the return, the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Give to the brother of J.J. This is Derek Watt. Two yards, good enough for a first. I don't know about you, partner, but on second and inches, a lot of the times I'm leery about the offensive guys thinking about taking a shot downtown. Instead, they just hand it to the big man and let him rumble forward for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. This is fielded at the seven. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Ravens will get it. First and 10 from deep in their own territory. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 15. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Brings up Charles Thursday night game. I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. You know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Raven. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. This time, Jackson will throw it. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. 
And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Complete nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? He's going deep for Brown. This is caught. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Touchdown. Marquise Brown, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. Makes the score. Ravens 7. Steelers nothing. Justin Tucker to kick off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Ryan Switzer on the return. And he's up a... Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But they also And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. They said there was a lot of discussion in their defensive team meeting room after last week's performance. They had seven sacks. Something in the water. There's one in the first quarter. A lot of discussion, a lot of excitement because now everyone wants to get involved with this. Who's going to continue that process? Who's going to get to the quarterback this week? But they have to be careful. When you have that much pressure, they want to use it again. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. And they took the shot downfield. They were more than prepared for that one. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Stop short of the goal line. A gain of three brings up second and Another goal. shot from the one on second and goal. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Steelers, nothing. Another shot from the one on second and goal. A tight end carry for Delaney Walker. And he's not going to push his way forward. He's going to be stopped at the two-yard line. Brandon, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. Too many things could go wrong in this situation. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is the... And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. So a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. worried about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Switzer now to return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. It's their third drive now, and so far we've seen a punt in that second drive CD. They turned the ball over, so not the start that they were envisioning. Yeah, they've been ineffective so far, but look, they've worked on a game plan all week long. Don't get away from it too soon. Find a way to get some significant gains, loosen up, get going, and then they should be okay the rest of the way. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That good for 22 and a first down. A good carry and a first down by James Conner. And this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback. James Conner only 715 combined yards, but in 2018, he was a Pro Bowl running back. Combined yardage that year, 1,470. They're open for 2018 James Conner in 2020. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, again to Conner. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. No gain on the play. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. 48, 48. From the shotgun, here's Barrett. And that will be incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. And that is going to be incomplete. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. First down, Muhammad, and he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. He's a it's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards there and a first down. First down, Ravens. Jackson from the shotgun. Quick throw here, that's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. 
He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A gain there of 21 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front, lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. They'll run on first down. Green. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Taken down. It was Mike Hilton up to make the tackle. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. Here's first and goal. And gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Yikes, a 40-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. And goal at the Steelers' nine-yard line. A shotgun snap and again to Dalvins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. And the Ravens will extend their lead. And it is now 21 to nothing. Makes the score Ravens 21, Steelers nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Switzer now to return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. A seven-yard loss. Brings up third down. Throwing on third and long. Barrett is going to let this one go deep. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Here we go on fourth down with Roethlisberger. Dancing to his left. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Now Jackson on first down, going for it all. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Complete. Nicole Hardman with touchdown number eight on the year. As the Ravens push further out in front. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Switzer. And a mistake on the lateral. It's a loose ball. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. And Ben goes down in the end zone, and that'll be a safety. And the safety there, another mistake, and these mistakes just keep piling up. How many more can they make? They put themselves in such a massive hole now. 
going to be difficult to dig out from under. Yeah, for sure they can't afford any more at this point. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Yeah, good job, fellas, good job. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Jackson going to find his running back here. It's Dobbins. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens add on. And the kick here is good with a penalty flag down as well. And they may have run into him after the kick went away. So five yards for running into. Lucky it wasn't 15 for roughing. No doubt about it because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. They don't want those types of injuries. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. 10, 10 at their own 18-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 18. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. First down, counter plowing ahead for about three. It'll be second and seven. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have, to have a few men in the box there. Three yards the game there, second down. Pick up a three. Brings up second and seven. At the 40. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Flush to his right. Incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's nfl ordinarily you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in in this case they brought the heat and if he flushes out 
They're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Play fake to counter. Now Roethlisberger. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're still coming after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? And look at this. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at about the 32. Following the fumble recovery, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. First and 10 at the 49. Now will be knocked away. It's incomplete. A keep to leave the veteran pro bowler there to get a hand in. Knock it away. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and 10 coming up. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Ebron with it over the middle. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Marlon Humphrey on the tackle. It's a gain of seven. Out of the gun. It's Roethlisberger. At the 31. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And he will have a Steelers first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And this will be incomplete. There hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Jalen Samuels, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Steelers are able to get a score back. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. You're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but... They haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a 
big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson out to his left. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no, no interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds apparently. So that's just gonna be an incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, Jackson. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was gonna take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses wanna try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Pushing his way through. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. At their own 41-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. I don't think you got it. 77, 77. Again on second and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Eluding the pressure right, and that's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And the Steelers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and 10. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. A gain of six yards. The Steelers will go. It's Roethlisberger. And this is incomplete. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Throwing now, Jackson on first down, escaping the pressure right. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 23 yards on the play. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. From the gun, it's Jackson. This will be caught at about the 5. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Muhammad. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Jackson now, looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, 
incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, his sixth touchdown of the season as his guys continue to pour it on. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Here comes Johnson on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. On the return, the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 27. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And it's third down. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here, you've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Roethlisberger going to get that to Ebron. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 at enemy territory. Giving back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw again is Roethlisberger. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Anthony Averett picks it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring this. <laughs> Tucker now for the extra point. For the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Ravens 51, Steelers 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Switzer now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Switzer on the return. The Steelers take over first and 10. At their the Steeler offense, offense here about ready for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chuck Clark. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. After the sack on first down, Roethlisberger being chased out left. He gets it left side to Johnson. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The veteran Jimmy Smith there on the coverage. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Oh, this offense is staying put. They're just one for four in these situations so far, but they're going again on fourth down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Johnson. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time. That'll bring up second down. 
Marlon Humphrey on the coverage. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. Flush to his right. He goes full extension, and he's got it. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Five-yard line. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Akeem Tlaib, the veteran pro bowler, there to get a hand in, knock it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Eric Ebron, incomplete. Brings up third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. From the shotgun, here's Barron. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Now Chris Boswell for the Steelers' field goal try. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their 38. And they'll get him down after a pickup. 